<clears throat> just wanted to make a shooting review on this World Tiger Imports M1. Um, I apologize if the cam angle isn't the best. I can't see it uh, the way I have it set up. Anyways, um, I put 100 rounds through this gun. Just got done firing. I'm at the range now. Um, <clears throat> through this uh, 41 Winchester. And uh, I had no malfunctions. Well, I have one. That was the first day I brought it out. That was the second round. Um, all I had to do was just bump the op rod to get it going. Actually, I think I just pulled the op rod. It stopped like right here. Just pulled the op rod back and it sent the round uh, home. But other than that, I had no issues with it. And that could be a couple things. Could have been the M block. Um, could have been since this was reparked. It just needed to uh, work itself out. Um, but anyways, I'll post some pictures. I did take a, a picture of an eight round group that I shot. Um, now the group was only at 50 yards. I think it was two, two and a half inches. Um, and that is uh, pretty much pulling the trigger as soon as I can get back on um, the sights on. I Now that was benched. So um, not the best, not the worst. Again, I'm not the best shooter. Um, I did shoot at 100 yards i zeroed this at 100 and i didn't go look at it but through the scope i have a really nice leopold scope and through the scope i'm pretty sure i shot from what i saw it looked like an inch and a half three round group um now i didn't walk down i didn't take uh pictures of it i didn't take the target down or anything so believe me don't believe me no big deal um but this is definitely my favorite m1 by far um, this just shoots so pleasant. It's just such a great rifle. Um, in fact, I thought about buying another one from Royal Tiger Imports. Um, but I'm, I'm probably not. These are pretty expensive. But in my opinion, if you're looking for an M1, a shooter, uh, whatever, definitely get one. Uh, if, you, if you can stomach the price. I know they're kind of expensive. Um, or if you want to go through the CMP, go through the CMP. But the thing is with the CMP, uh, new manufacturer, or the, the rifles that they repark, the problem is they put new barrels on them. This has a GI barrel on it, not a new barrel. And this is also a Winchester barrel. So I'd rather have that than a new barrel, but that's just me. Um, anyways, I just want to make this short, quick to the point. Um, and just to let you know, I, I did put a hundred rounds through it. Shoots great. Um, even with the, the light pitting that is in the barrel, it's very light. It's no big deal, but there is just a very light bit of pitting in there. Um, anyways, um, I have a couple more guns coming in from World Tiger. Well, I have one coming in tomorrow and then I have, I'm thinking about ordering, uh, correct, uh, uh, an early production carbine possibly an Enfield from them or possibly a, a Beulah M14. I don't know yet. I'll uh, let you guys know what I decide. Probably won't get a video out tomorrow on that M1 or maybe I will. I don't know. 